you know, you hear these stories about low inventory and what you, what you're not hearing is homes are selling and sellers are deciding to sell. And what I found was people are selling their homes. Typically, not typically, but specifically people 55 to 72, 74 years old, 52 to 75 years old are selling their homes. They're actually downsizing their homes so that they can increase their freedoms. So they have a big house, big property, or lots of maintenance, wear and tear, repairs and maintenance, and they feel like they're real estate rich, but cash poor, or real estate rich, but time poor, meaning they can't really go do what they want, when they want, with who they want, as long as they want, because they have responsibilities, dogs, horses, mowing the lawn, irrigation, taking care of their house. So what I'm finding is people in their 50s, 60s, and 70s are listing their home and selling it, getting a lot of equity, and then using that equity and putting that equity in the stock market, annuities, CDs, somewhere where they can get recurring revenue because they're planning a retirement or they are in retirement and they're extending their runway so that they can retire earlier and longer. So they're taking their equity so they can return, retire earlier and for longer with more security. We just had a client sell their home and then buy a $400,000 RV. Sounds crazy, right? But to them, that RV represented something that was amazing to them. And that was the freedom of movement the ability to move out of the area and change directions, change sceneries, explore and travel. Because, you know, there was a Carl Pilmer study. Uh, he's a gerontologist and he studied elderly people who he called experts. These were late stages in life, 70s, 80s, 90s, 100s. He interviewed 2000 of them and he asked them what their regrets were in life. And they were, there's, there were two regrets that kept coming up over and over and over again. And the first regret was they wish they would have traveled more. They wish they would have traveled more. The second one, they wish they would have spent more time, time with uh, developing and being with, developing relationships and being with family and friends more. And this is a regret looking back on life. And so what we're finding is people are listing their homes in Leavenworth and Cashmere, Monitor and Dryden, selling it because they are in that area of life where they want to travel. They want to be close to their friends and family and, and have the extra time to nurture and develop new friendships, new relationships, or really dive into the relationships they already have in place and go to our website, reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. We want to give back. Take care.